you looking at here, this is a commercial dishwasher. Basically, if you pull this down, the dishwasher is supposed to start automatically once you pull that down. Once you bring it back up, it's supposed to stop. The problem we having, we have a leaks coming from somewhere around the dishwasher. Now this cover that you see me took out, the cover of course supposed to be like this. That cover is supposed to be like this, of course. And before you do anything, Place the cover back down. You got a big old plug, just like this. That's plug right in here. So of course, you'll make sure that you turn the dishwasher off. That's the power. Turn it off and unplug the dishwasher before you do anything. And just place that plug on the side. Then this panel right here that you see laying on the floor is only two screws at the bottom. One here and the other one is over there. So basically once we get a good view from the inside we automatically see that where our leaks is coming from drain um, pipe it disconnected so let's look up to see where that how that connected pull that up when you look down if you take this down it's pretty nasty. So you see how that's, that thing looks? So this is supposed to be connected to it. So you'll probably be able to see my finger through that. So that's basically where the disconnection actually is. The seal needs to be changed. And we're gonna see all this. So we're gonna clean that up and see if the seal is still good and see if we can we use the seal if not we're probably gonna have to change the seal and we have water residue right here we're gonna clean that up real good and make sure no leg is coming from here. But we are hundred percent sure that's our legs right here. On top of here. Alright, what you're gonna do, you're gonna go ahead and clean this as best as you can. And you're gonna clean the thread best as you can. And because this gonna go 
around up here and it's gonna thread with the bottom now in order for you to get a good thread you're gonna have to make sure that the bottom is pushed up so if you can grab something push the bottom up flat just like this and you can actually tight this real tight so this is how it looks like I feel with on tight the top with the bottom piece now we try our best just to make sure this is real tight so Now, the residue that you're looking right here, it looks like the bottom pipe is basically licking. It's basically the, the water that's coming from the top and create that residue over time. We're gonna go ahead and plug it in and give it a try, see what we got. So now we have the machine plugged in into the wall. Then we have the machine turns on and you said it says fill. So the machine about to fill up with water. So, we're going to wait until it stops filling up. If you look close down this line right here, 